Under new ownership, but not afraid to take its new bosses, the Japanese media company Nikkei, to task. It was in 2014 the Financial Times was critical of its new owner's previews of Japanese corporate earnings, which it said were systematic apparent leaks from companies to the newspaper. Will there be editorial clashes in the future? Faced with reporters, the chairman of Nikkei admitted his English wasn't good enough to read the FT, but its editorial independence will remain. I won't try to change the FT's management or editorial styles. It will remain unchanged as the Financial Times. I've already said to the paper's chief executive, John Ridding, that the FT becoming stronger is beneficial to Nikkei. The company's 1.2 billion euro purchase of the 127-year-old FT stunned the media world. The Japanese paper dominates business coverage in Japan but is a stranger overseas. What influence will it bring to bear on the FT? I think you might begin to see a shift in some of its coverage, also maybe in the tone as well. Certainly the FT has been the leader of the voice of the sort of pro-European element in British politics and that may start to evolve slightly differently if you have a new owner. There are no planned staff redundancies or mergers of the two papers' bureaus, according to Nikkei, but some expect changes. Kind of happy, they kind of know things are going to change, but it's interesting, yeah. It's very early stage, I can't really say, because I mean, we don't really have enough information about our new owner. <laughs> it is information which has made the Financial Times a global authority, an undoubted attraction to its new owners, who have pledged investment to support the FT's future growth.